In our last video, we prepared the LED light head um, for laser cutting. This video, I'm going to show you how to prepare our work for um, file export of a DXF file. The first thing I'm going to do is check that all my components are separate. So I've got three different layers here. They highlight as I hover over them. If you don't have three components here and you have three layers, it's possible that the top um, component is your first layer. In this case, have a look for a folder that calls, is called body. Um, if there's a folder called body underneath this first uh, folder, expand it and right click the body and go um, create component from bodies. If you click that, then it should make a component out of it. So you should have the, all three components sitting um, separately here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange my pieces for the laser cutting. So under modify there's a toolbar called arrange. If I click that and then select all the components that I want to arrange. So they're all selected, they've all been brought across here. Um, then I'm going to go to envelopes and I should be able to select the plane or the face that I want to spread this out on. So I'm going to click this bottom plane. Now the length that I want is 800, the width is 140, placement clearance can be one millimeter, and these can stay as one millimeter as well. If I click OK to that, it might take a minute to process, but it should lay out my work flat like this. Now I've got a warning, that warning is because um, it's broken these joints here, so don't worry too much about that warning. You can see that all the pieces are laid out. Yours might be kind of going long, way, long ways, but as long as there's a bit of clearance between each one, that's fine. So if you see this um, here, the laser cutter is gonna cut anywhere where there's a line. So if you've got a half depth cut, which doesn't go the whole way through, it will still cut the whole way through and leave you with a piece on this side and the piece that's getting cut out. The next step is to create a drawing file with this. So I'm gonna do a save make sure that component's saved and then I'm going to go new drawing from design. With this new drawing I'm going to choose the sheet size A2. A2 is a fairly big sheet size and it should fit everything very easily at full scale. Once our sheet opens, once again it takes a couple of minutes to think about this, I'm going to select the scale. So now I'm going to come over to the scale and I'm going to go one to one. That's our full size scale and you can see it fits on my sheet okay. Now this is the front view. We actually want a top view and it might differ if you have drawn yours in a different plane or orientation. So play with all these views until you can see your design from the top down. So scale one to one and view orientation so it's looking like uh, straight down. Click OK. We can see that this is a line drawing now. That's exactly what we want to export for our um, laser cut file. The next thing to do is to, to delete the um, border. So I'll just click to and press delete and I'm going to click and press delete for the title block because everything on that page is going to laser cut. So we only want the lines that we need for our laser cutting. Now this is looking pretty good, um, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna come up to export here and I'm gonna export a DXF file. At this stage we wanna save it somewhere where we can get to, to um, email it or upload it to um, be processed. So um, call it what it is, so lamp head. Put your name in here too. So I'm gonna put my surname in and um, you can save it to a folder, sorry, down here, you can save it to a folder um, on your computer. So um, choose somewhere, maybe just your desktop or your downloads and save, save that file. Once we've saved the file, um, your teacher will have emailed you a link to upload this file. So this is my link, I'm gonna click on it. That's gonna open up a box like this and we're gonna select our files. 
from this here I can find my file so I save it in my download I'm going to click my lamp head and open it if I upload that file now it will come straight to the teacher and it will actually include the student's name that has uploaded it that's all um, we need to know to prepare our files for the laser cutter um, there is another video about uh, preparing in Ruby but at year 9 we won't have access to that at this stage. Um, just remember when you're preparing your files though, the laser cutter will cut on every one of these black lines um, so you'll get each of those profiles. The other thing to remember is that it's 140, 130 millimeters from side to side so make sure that the, um, your work will fit onto that. If the teacher needs to scale your work, the um, things that need to fit together might not might no longer fit together so um, just be extra careful that it's the correct size and it fits within the material constraints